Hi everybody, I'm Mid7. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ISO files with them on tools little software. Uh, an ISO image, or also known as a disk image, is an exactly copy of every writing sector of an optical disk, such as CD, DVD, or Blu-ray disk. The disk images are very useful on these days. We can store a copy of any, any disk inside our hard drive and use it like a virtual disk. For example, I'm going to download an ISO image of Ubuntu and I'm going to mount this image on a virtual optical drive using a software called Diamond Tools Little. The first step is download the Diamond Tools Little setup. We can find this software on Google. We are going to search Diamond Tools. The first entry is the official website, hit over this result. Now we have a lot of uh, Diamond Tools versions such Pro Advanced, Standard and the Seer one is the light version of for Windows. Hit the download free button for the light version. On this page you should pay attention, there is a lot of fake download buttons. The real download button is above the advertising, right here. Uh, the setup size is around 13 megabytes. Once the download finished, we are going to run the setup. Hit run on the security warning. Select the language, in my case, English. I agree the license agreement. Select the free license. Here, I, I'm going to check the Windows gadget option. It's not useful. Next. This is a bro uh, option uh, that install a browser extension. We check. I do not want to install Nitro PDF Reader. Next, don't allow. Select the destination folder and hit install. Wait a few seconds. When the installation process finishes, hit the finish button. And now the Diamond Tools latest software is running. Here we go. If you go to computer folder, you can notice that a new optical driver was added. This is our virtual optical drive. Now we can mount any DG image on this, on this case, a uh, ISO image of Ubuntu, the operation system. We are going to find our DIG image that I've done a few minutes ago before this tutorial. My ISO file is located on my desktop here. We can uh, drag and drop the ISO file into the Diamond Tools little window. When the disk image is displayed under the image catalog list, you should press the right click over the, uh, the image entry and select the mount option. Close the output play in my case. And that is all. Now your disk image is mounted and ready to be used. If you go to your computer folder, you can notice that the disk image is loaded on the virtual drive right here. You can mount the disk image going to, to the Diamond Tools window. Right click on the virtual drive. 
and pressing the mod option. Now the virtual drive is, is empty. And we can repeat the mount step. And the image is, is loaded again. Here ends this basic tutorial about these files. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and lessons. Regards.